The voices you are about to hear are not actors. They are current Explorer class personnel reading the actual transcript of communications between the USS Bradbury and United Space Mission Control. These images, badly damaged by Gamma X radiation, are all that survive of the ill-fated Bradbury mission and subsequent rescue attempt. This is the wreck of the USS Bradbury. Commander, we have a distress call from USS Bradbury. What? Patch it through. Mayday! Science Specialist Michelle Park. Mayday! Mayday! The Bradbury has gone down hard and foundered. Do you read? Unknown event. Catastrophic damage. The ship is down and has sank into the sea. Do you read? Operations control, roger that. Catastrophic damage. Ship compromised. Report on personnel. The cockpit was breached. Mission commander was impaled. Her injuries were incompatible with life. She went down with the Bradbury. First officer Austin was initial personnel out on the deck. He, he was gone. Clarifying, did you have visual on first officer event? Affirmative. It's the... He was at the white water, and then he was gone. Astounding. The ocean is a soup, a living soup. Anthropods, giant segmented worms, radial, looks like carnivorous starfish, incredibly dense and varied fauna. And every species has more claws and spines and teeth than the next. Fascinating. Accurate assessment. Condition, first officer? Once Buck was in the water, it was just a foaming boil. They pulled him apart and commenced frenzied feeding in multiple locales. First officer is gone. Do you confirm both mission commander and first officer KOD? Multicolored, iridescent, bioluminescent, moving, writhing, wriggling, swimming. They do not utilize camouflage whatsoever. I can see them fine. I wish I had the good camera. Specialist Park, this is Commander Rose Blaine. Michelle? Michelle, listen to me. Your job is to remain until we get there. Do you read? You're going to be alone for a very long time. Do you understand? But we will come get you. How are your provisions? Poor! Ocean is hyper-alkaline, so I'll move inland for fresh water. Battery's failing. You're coming for me, confirm? Affirmative. We are not going to leave you there. Do you have your AD beacon? Yes, I have the beacon. Keep it on at all times. It will help us find you. But we may be a very long while. Do you read? You're on your own until we come for you. Faint. Losing signal. Wait! Wait! Signal is gone. Ah, oh, G. G. The beacon's getting stronger. We're right on top of the signal. Visual. Affirmative, we found her. She's, uh, looks like she's been here a while, Commander. Confirm. This is a recovery, not a rescue. Well, good job, Lieutenant. Let's get her home. Roger that, Commander. Let's go home, Michelle. Well, sure there's fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of looming death. <laughs> but seriously, we can't let the natural, insane reaction of fear to stop us from gaining this knowledge that's waiting for us. Just waiting for us to go there and grab it. Rather than fear what's over the next hill, I fear the chance of missing what's over that hill. As a galactic biologist, I'm excited and honored to be chosen for this profession, and especially for this mission. Science specialist Michelle Sue Park was recovered 162 kilometers from the crash site. She's interred at Arlington National Cemetery Lunar Annex, alongside Mission Commander Erin A. Varstusian. Navigator First Officer Harold Buck Austin officially remains lost on duty.